Hello everyone, this video is about rooting your Google Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL running Android 9.0 or also known as Android Pi. Now before we get started, I have the timestamps of this video in the more info down below. This whole process roughly takes about 20 minutes and all you need is some time and patience and of course your USB cable. Now I just want to go over what we'll be using to root our phone and that's called Magisk. It's relatively new and it's pretty much your standard root management with extra modules that you can install to enhance your experience without modifying your system too much. Now Magisk is also update friendly and will allow you to easily update your phone as it doesn't interact with your phone's system partition, which is quite important for taking OTAs. Now last but not least, safety net bypassing is quite a huge factor about Magisk, but I would not count on that being something that is permanently available due to the cat and mouse nature between Google and Magisk. So apps like Pokemon Go, Snapchat, or your banking apps that rely on safety net may not work sometimes, but luckily, currently, Magisk provides a workaround for those apps. So just a quick warning before we start things off, this procedure will wipe your phone as we need to unlock the bootloader. So please back up anything that you need, including apps, app data, which may be hard on an unrooted device, photos, music, and downloads. Also, you may not be eligible for any warranty claims after unlocking the bootloader. You should double check with the person that you've purchased your phone through, if in doubt. And also, you may not be able to take OTAs without a little bit of extra work, depending on what you have done with your device. But luckily for you, I do have videos on that every single month. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comments section. I usually try to answer comments at least one or two days after posting. But if you want a more immediate or answer in a shorter time frame, you can definitely ask me or ask some other people on Discord who are more than happy to help you out. Now that being said, I guess we can get started with our rooting process. So the first thing we need to do is to enable OEM unlocking. To do that, it's very simple. We just go to the settings here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, tap on system, then tap on about phone, scroll down the about phone section and tap on the build number seven times until you get the developer options I guess menu, you'll need to confirm your pattern and then it'll say you are now a developer at the bottom. Once you've gotten that done, head on back and then tap on advanced and you should see the developer options just over here. Whoops, tap on that and then over here where it says OEM unlocking, just enable that and enter in your pattern or password. Make sure you tap on enable and it should be on like so. And once you've done that, you'll need to head over to the computer to download a few things. The first thing we need to download is the SDK platform tools. These are just some components and executables that allow your computer to communicate with your phone in its various states. So download the one that is right for your operating system. You have availabilities for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So download the one for Windows in this case. Agree to the terms and conditions and then click on the blue download button. Now I'm going to be saving everything in one folder called Android. I suggest that you do the same thing as that'll make things a lot cleaner to do. So moving on to our next download, we'll need to download the latest version of Magisk as well. Magisk will be our, the way we root our phone. I want to scroll down here until it says the latest beta and just click on that link and it'll download the latest beta of Magisk on your computer. Last but not least, you'll need to download the TWRP custom recovery for your Pixel. So there's one for the regular Pixel which is codenamed Walleye and the Pixel 2 XL which is also codenamed Timon. So depending on which model, just make sure you select the right version of TWRP for your specific device. So in this case, my phone is just the smaller Pixel 2, so I'll be downloading from the Pixel 2 page. Select one of the download links and then download the latest image file that you see here. And this video won't cover installing TWRP permanently, as usually it can't decrypt our data partition due to the numerous security updates that we get every month. So I'll just be downloading the latest image here it's 32 megabytes, and that's the same thing for the 2XL. If we just go over to the download links, you'll see that the Timon also has the same version image as well, albeit a little bit bigger. So downloaded the image file of the latest version of TWRP, and then you should have three files downloaded on your computer here. So I'm going to minimize my Chrome tabs, and I'm going to open up the Platform Tools zip file. So open that up and extract the entire Platform Tools folder outside to, into Android, just like that. Just give it a sec to copy, and once that is done, you can close the zip file. 
Next up, we want to open up the Platform Tools folder and in the address bar here at the top, you want to click on it and then type in the word CMD. This will open up a command prompt window that has already changed its location, see here, to the same one that we have our Platform Tools in, which is very useful for running these commands. So just move your command prompt window somewhere else for the time being and we'll need to do a few more things on our device, namely unlocking the bootloader. So this is the part where your phone will be wiped entirely, so please make a backup before this step or before you go ahead. Now once you've backed up everything, all you need to do is reboot your phone into the bootloader. So hold the power button and get that restart menu up. Now as soon as you tap on restart and as soon as the screen turns black or freezes, you want to hold the volume down button. So I'm going to do that right now and it's turned black so I'm going to hold the volume down button now. Keep holding it until your phone boots into the bootloader. It may take a while so just keep holding it. Now once your phone's in the bootloader, you want to come back to our computer here and type in the fastboot devices command. All this does is to return a list of serial numbers that is currently connected in fastboot and if you see one there, then that means your phone is connected in fastboot successfully. Now if you don't see anything there, I do have a driver installation video down below or just give it a couple seconds for Windows to install drivers for you. But after a while, if it's still not being detected using the same fastboot devices command, please do check out the video I have linked down below on installing drivers for your device. Now once your device has been detected as connected, we can now go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So I'm going to type in fastboot flashing unlock and hit enter. Now you see the screen that warns us about unlocking the bootloader. So we're going to select the up arrow, sorry, the volume up key to select unlock the bootloader and then press the power button to unlock the bootloader. Now our phone will reboot into the recovery and wipe itself and in the process also unlock the bootloader. And you can see that the command was okay after 11 seconds. So let your phone turn on, it may take a while. You'll see that screen very often, the one with the orange triangle. Now your phone is going to erase itself as well. So just wait until your phone turns on all the way. So now that your phone is booted back up, we're now going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader to finish our rooting process. We just needed our phone to do that first boot, just so it can do a couple of things. So we're going to go the same way, we're going to tap on restart and hold the volume down button once the screen turns black, and wait for our phone to reboot itself back into the bootloader. Now once our phone is in the bootloader, we're going to need to type in a few more commands. But first up, this is for the Pixel 2 XL users. I want you to type in this command first. Type in fastboot flashing, unlock, underscore critical, and hit enter. Now if your phone returns failed remote unknown command, then you don't need to do anything else. You can just wait a second. But for those who got a unlock bootloader screen back on their device, so the one that we saw before when we did our initial fastboot flashing unlock, you want to follow the same process to unlock the bootloader once more. And now this is because of a bug in the earlier bootloaders, so I'm not sure if it still applies today. But if yours does show that bootloader unlock screen, please unlock the bootloader once more and come back into the bootloader where you'll root your phone and continue from there. But for those who don't need to unlock their bootloader or those special uh, partitions again, we can now go ahead and type in fastboot boot. Leave a space after the word boot and I want you to go back into your Android or platform tools folder. Go back one until you see your TWRP image and just drag that image over to your command prompt window. You'll see it populate here. Currently mine says it will just add the file path to the end of what you've typed in and make sure there is a space between boot and the file and the file name. Once you have that done, hit enter and your phone will load up the TWRP image temporarily. So give it a second, your phone may take a while to boot up there. Now at this point, if you get a screen that asks you for data decryption, you can hit cancel or you can try to decrypt your data, enter in your lock screen pattern or password. But if you've followed me directly here, it shouldn't come up and you should see something called an unmodified system partition. Now you can read the little blurb there, but I'll just quickly explain. Now if you leave your system unmodified, you are more likely able to take security updates or OTA updates with the help of Magisk Manager in the future. 
But if you do plan on, I guess, flashing ROMs or anything like that, or if you do want to modify your system partition, please keep in mind that you may not be able to take OTAs because when you flash updates through the stock recovery, or however you choose to handle your OTAs, it will check for the current block, so that is your system block, and it will make sure that nothing is out of the ordinary and it matches the, the metadata that it stores of your system partition to ensure that it's not corrupt or anything, or anything that could actually jeopardize your device when flashing an update. So I'm going to tap on keep read only so I can show you guys how to update your phone using the OTA system. And from here, you want to tap on advanced and then tap on ADB sideload and then swipe to start sideload and your phone should appear in that screen. I want you to go back to your computer here and now on the command prompt, I want you to type in ADB sideload and leave a space after the word sideload. After that, I want you to drag in the magisk zip file on top of your command prompt and let go and hit enter. Now this will sideload or push the magisk zip file to your phone and your phone will be able to process that zip file as it were on your device. So this is how we can flash things without actually having it copied over earlier since we did have to wipe our device. So once the sideload is completed, you'll see that uh, the process here that magisk has done. And once that's done, we can tap on reboot system. And if you get this uh, prompt to install the TWRP app, you can uncheck that and tap on do not install because I don't like extra apps hanging around and that app doesn't really do anything. So we're gonna wait for our phone to reboot and then we'll see our phone rooted, but of course not yet set up. So we're gonna set up our phone when we turn it on and then we'll be able to see if we're rooted or not. Okay, our phone turned on, that is a good sign. So I'm just gonna go through the setup process and I'll see you guys on the other side. So one more thing before we take a look at Magisk, I want you to go back into the settings here and we're going to disable automatic updates. So go to System, Advanced, and you may need to, of course, re-enable the developer options after we have wiped our phone. So go back to the developer options and scroll down just a little bit where it says Automatic System Updates. Make sure that is turned off so your phone doesn't automatically download updates and then when you restart your phone, attempt to install them while your phone is rooted or maybe it even has TWRP. So that'll save us a lot of headaches and that is about all we need to disable. Now optionally, you can just enable USB debugging as well. So you can access your phone uh, using the ADB command. So in future, when people ask you to use ADB and you also need to allow this USB debugging thing as well. So in the future, if you want to do things using ADB on your phone while it's an Android, then you want to make sure this is also enabled. So disable automatic system updates and enable USB debugging. Okay, so I've just finished setting up my phone and we're just going to see if Magisk Manager is here and yes it is. So that's a new icon you're gonna look for. And you can see that once you got two ticks up there and it says you've installed a version of Magisk and it doesn't say nothing installed, that's it, you're rooted. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? So now you can check the safety net status. You'll get used to this, checking that uh, your phone is indeed passing safety net, even though you've rooted your phone and you have an unlocked bootloader. This will take a little bit while, a little while on the first try. But if you go over to the side here in the download section, these are all the modules that you can actually um, install. So different things, pretty cool stuff. So have a look at there on your spare time. We'll just go back to the Magisk thing and see if we can check our safety net status. And you can see it passing as well. So that's it, our phone is rooted using Magisk Manager on Android Pie. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to leave it down below. I'll try my hardest to answer them for you. And also feel free to join our Discord if you like to chat about things, custom ROMs, and all that kind of good stuff. So thanks for watching guys, and as always, happy flashing.